गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सत्यव्रत शाह एम डी डी एम क्लिनिकल फार्माकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन ड्रॉक्स यूज इन डिस्लिपिडेमिया एज वी ऑल नो दैट डिस्लिपिडेमिया इज द ऑल्टरेशन ऑफ लिपिड मेटाबोलिज्म इन द बॉडी एंड दैट लीड्स टू इंक्रीज इन ट्राइग्लेसर लिवेल्स इंक्रीज इन कोलेस्ट्रॉल लिवेल्स इन द ब्लड एंड increase in ldl cholesterol levels and decrease in hdl cholesterol level in the blood and this dyslipidemia can be of two types one is primary dyslipidemia another is secondary dyslipidemia and primary dyslipidemia uh, is due to any mutation in genes and it is mostly depends on the a genetic uh, of the person and secondary dyslipidemia is due to uh, other causes of drugs like hypothyroidism in patients and uh, alcohol intake etc then how we will confirm dyslipidemia we can confirm dyslipidemia by doing lipid profile test and in the lipid profile test if ldl cholesterol level is more than 100 mg per dl and cholesterol serum cholesterol level is more than 200 mg per dl or hdl level is less than 40 mg per dl in males and less than 50 mg per dl in females mm. and serum triglyceride level is more than 150 mg per dl then we confirm it as dyslipidemia then proper history to be taken from the patient about whether he is hypothyroid or whether there is any uh, alcohol intake and smoking history etc then how we will manage dyslipidemia if it is not associated with hypothyroidism or alcohol or any other cause then we can treat dyslipidemia by using hmg coa reductase inhibitors like atorvastatin rosuvastatin and fibrates like phenofibrate uh, and tempfibrozil these drugs can be used when the triglyceride levels is more than 200 mg per dl and other drugs like ezetimibe can be given for cholesterol lowering as hypolipidemic agents and niacin can also be used in hypertriglyceridemia and also omega 3 fatty acids that is uh, available as capsules 1 g to 4 g per day can be used for triglyceride management when the triglycerides are more than 400 mg per dl and the dose of atorvastatin is from 10 mg to 40 mg rosuvastatin is from 5 mg to 20 mg and phenofibrate is 160 mg and ezetimibe is 10 mg and niacin can be given to 1000 mg and other drugs like omega 3 capsules can be given 1 g to 4 g per day and we can also use 
fish oils we should advise the patient to do regular exercise 150 50 minute of moderate moderate intensity of exercise per week and we can also advise the patient to take low carbohydrate diet and low glycemic index diet also and in this way we can manage dyslipidemia and follow up with lipid profile in regular interval of 3 months to know the level of lipid profile whether it is reduced or not and in this way we can prevent from mortality due to cardiovascular disorder thanks a lot jai jagannath